Your dog is never done what that dog just did. You have done sits and stays. This is not a sit and stay. I could care less about a sit and stay. This is Briggs, an 11 month old unneutered dog. I just brought him out for a private session a few minutes ago. I didn't have the cameras rolling. He saw the brand new dog and he was like, hell no, I'm not listening to you. I'm pulling as hard as my, I can. I can't take my eyes off of that dog. I didn't have the cameras rolling, so I thought we'd set a scenario like that up again. Also, when I came to this room, he jumped. He didn't jump, at, he's a good dog. He's a smart dog, he's a nice dog. He's a bold dog, like your dog. He jumped and basically like hit me right here. I grabbed him, I pushed him back, and I pushed him back right over here. And the energy in my arms, and you've heard me talk about it before, the energy in my arms let this unneutered, becoming an adult dog, confident dog know that that is, a, that is unacceptable. It wasn't a bad jump, it wasn't a happy jump, it was a, I'm gonna jump into you because I feel like jumping into you jump, which is the same thing when they say, I wanna jump on the counter because I feel like jumping on the counter, which is the same thing as I wanna lunge at that dog because I, I feel like lunging at that dog. I'm not gonna sit here, you're not gonna sit here, and the reason you like this channel is because we don't sit here and throw treats all over the place and totally do positive reinforcement because that's not the world we live in. It's not the world you live in at work. It's not the world, world you live in with your kids. It's not the world you live in with your husband and wives. It's not the world to constantly be giving people M&Ms when they do something well. The world we live in when you have unruliness is to be the boss and expect good behavior and show people and animals what is expected of them and you be a strong leader and stand there strong and grab the dog when they do something wrong and reinforce the dog when they do something right. That is the perfect world to live in when you have leaders and discipline and all that good stuff. Briggs, come here. Good boy. So he, we've got a dog set up out here. He's not gonna do his thing like he did to me before, but if there's any, he's been with us for five days at the border train. Okay, all right, leash is going on. You guys know the doorway method, right? Can't fly out the door. I'm gonna explain the doorway method a little, a little bit. I'm not even gonna do a sit stay. If this guy wants to fly out the door, he can fly out the door. There is no cue. The door opening is not a cue to fly out this door, especially when this leash is on. This is for you folks with loose leash walking problems. He feels the weight of this leash. The weight of this metal piece right here is what he feels, that's the leash. That's the cue to not fly anywhere. Oh my gosh, Joel, you released the dog and then you corrected him when he flew out the door. Yeah, I released the dog to calmly walk out the door and he flew out the door. And we're coming back. Wasn't bad, he learned right there. We're gonna do it again. He's a bold dog. He's a confident dog. He's a bossy dog. He's a lot of things. I would rather do this, fling the door open and let him learn on his own than constantly be telling him or any other dog, stay, okay, SIT, all that stuff. Better than last one? Yeah. Okay. Within criteria? Absolutely. From that one turnaround, you guys want to fix leash reactivity, you want to fix loose leash walking, there's your fix. You at home, if you've never seen this channel or this method, the doorway method, your dog is never done what that dog just did. You have done sits and stays. This is not a sit and stay. I could care less about a sit and stay. What this dog just did is after the flip around and I consistently walked back and he was over here and I was like, I don't, I don't care that you got yourself around the corner. We're going this way. Then I flung the door open. This dog has been on a loose leash holding himself back ever since. He actually sees the dog there. But from that one turnaround, this dog for the first time was like, was like held himself back. Your dog, 
when you release them, they go out, they fly out, or they, they go out, and then you, you follow them out. It's not following him, your dog's out the door. You want your dog to creep out the door and go, where's this lady, where's this lady, where's this lady? That's how you fix leash reactivity. Look at the guy, I just came back. Briggs, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Check in right there. Now he's out here, let's see if it fixed, if it helped it. Briggs, Briggs. We'll do this all day, all day. Could I, should I lure him with treats? Briggs, Briggs. Good boy, that's our good, good. I don't love that jump. We're trying, we're working on jumping. Just because I said good boy does not mean you jump. Now he didn't touch me, so I don't care that much. All right, now are we ready to go? Come on, Carly. Is Briggs with me? Not really. So I'm gonna do a little different method. He wants to go see that dog, so we're going over here. Now we'll go back. I'm not saying his name for a reason. I did in there, and I can sometimes. I mix it up. I sometimes say their name. I sometimes want to, want to shock him out of that stare. Okay. This guy gets so focused on dogs that I don't want to sit there and beg him with his name every single time he locks onto a dog and I, he hears his name and he says, I don't care about that guy. I don't care about that owner. I want to, I was, I gave him plenty of shots. Oh, there's our good boy. I gave the, I've given this guy plenty of shots to look at me. There's a dog he doesn't know right there. Who cares? It's a dog he doesn't know. That doesn't mean you lose your mind. We gotta train our dogs to not lose their mind when they see other dogs. So yes, he got two corrections in there. He got a correction right there. Where's he going? Where's he going right now? And it's enough with the cues. Trainers, people are like, constant cues for dogs. Constant cues. How about if the dog just learns with no cues, that I better check in with this guy because he turns into me, because sometimes he says his, my, his name. Sit. Sometimes he says my name. Sometimes he just turns and goes the other way. I better watch this guy. This dog is a very physical, strong dog. If, if I constantly train, the, train this guy cues, there's, he's always only listening. I want this guy to learn that. I've done it before, you see that? That, if, if you constantly give your dog cues, your dog does not do that. Your dog waits for a cue, a name, a leave it, a come to do that. I just trained in real time, no cue. No verbal cue. He, could, he couldn't even hear me, really. He has learned in this session to be listening for footsteps or to feel the leash start to come this way and go with me and flow with me. And then he forgot, but I didn't forget. I'm fine with cues, I give cues, but you really want to change a dog fundamentally. You really want to change their perception and the way they think about you and your body and your placement. And you want to train off leash. It's enough with the cues. Put the cues later. Walk into the dog. I haven't talked to you guys much about that. The walk into the head area. It's just another reason to watch you. Briggs. Then you throw in the the name later, I was four feet. It just didn't feel right to not give him some help. I was th three feet from that dog who he's never seen. Sit. Now, when the dog is under control, I can start to give cues. Enough with the cues early in the training process. Get the other stuff right. Get this stuff right. Now the dog is in a frame of mind to actually listen and learn. Sit. Until this point, you're training them to not think on their own. They're tra you're training them to follow a cue and they won't do it without a cue. They will be bad until the cue. I don't want kids or dogs who are, 
who, who need to be told constantly what to do and what not to do. I want to raise kids and dogs that think for themselves and hold themselves back and look to me. That's what I want. All right, let's let, let, let him meet the dog. You think he's earned his way to the dog? Yeah. You think he earned his way to the dog when he was staring out there saying, I, I, I care less what this guy wants me to do because my whole life I stared at dogs and there was never consequences and I got to them and I walked all over people. I'm not saying he walked all over the owners. He's a tough dog, actually. Oh, now we have calmness. Hey, hey, chill. Riggs. And a come away from the dog, which is fantastic. He's a marker, he's here, he marks everything. Um, fantastic. Sit. It's the slowest sit in the history of the world. That's all right. We're not. Sit. That can all be worked on later. Okay. Go meet the dog and be calm. She's gonna get mad at you, Briggs. Briggs! <laughs> yeah, that's actually good for him, by the way. This dog rolls up to dogs. I've told you the story of my first dog, Bosco. If you haven't seen the video on him, go back and look. He was maybe the greatest dog ever. He was like nine months old. He loved dogs that he ran up to and he jumped on him and he thought it was the greatest thing ever. He ran up and we had a board and train here, he was feisty. He ran up and he jumped on the dog. The dog bit him on the shoulder and Bosco went, I was standing right there, Bosco went, arr, 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 ran away. And I was like, I hope he's not hurt, but that was the greatest thing for him. He wasn't hurt. It was the greatest thing for him. You can't just roll up to dogs and that dog told him in no uncertain terms, he never quite ran up and jumped on a dog as, as exuberantly as he did after that, after that time because there was consequences. There's consequences in life. Good boy, Briggs. So this dog going, knock it off, get out of my face, greatest thing ever. You're a good girl. Okay, that's the video. Hey, subscribe to the video, you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you thought this was helpful. Please hit the subscribe button. Like the video, do all that stuff, but subscribe. That's the most important thing. That's it.